Hello and welcome to SportHelpMe.com. I've got an awesome new inventory sheet here, a daily inventory tracker. Um, it's going to be part of the inventory bundle on SmartHelping.com. Uh, if you want to see that really quick, I'll show you that. So this is the inventory bundle. It's got you know restocking and cash requirement planning, tracking inventory for multiple locations, FIFO evaluation, cost of goods sold, reorder tracker, three statement model and inventory, cash conversion cycle. So I'll be adding another uh, sheet to this, which is going to be the daily inventory sheet that I'm going to about to go over in one second. And no extra cha no change of price. It'll be still be $99 for the whole bundle, or the sheet I'm building now is going to be $45 if you just want to buy it separately. So I'm going to add that to here, and uh, we're going to get into it. So let me switch back. So this is the daily inventory tracker. Um, we'll just go through the instructions. So first, you're going to enter the first date you're going to start the tracker inventory on the ending balance, tab A4, and then also the starting balance of each unit in row 3. So here, I go to ending balance. I put in my day, whatever day, probably the first day of the year, or whatever day you're going to start forecasting. It'll go for 365 days. And you put in the current balance of, of all the different inventory items. And you can do up to 40. You can see we're going to have a lot of cool conditional formatting going on here, inventory valuation, and I'll show you how all this is going to work. Um, so first step, again, we're just entering the date and the ending inventory balance of each item and the start date of the um, tracker. Note, when you get to the end date of whenever you're going to stop tracking it or the you know the it goes for up to 365 days, you'll simply just copy this ending balance paste values up here so I just go you know copy up here paste values only and then it restarts and then I'll have the balance and then I'll put in new usage and arrivals but we'll get into that in one second let me undo that so it's really simple to use through time or you can always um, make a new workbook and then start so this will be you know three and six these this 365 day period then I have another workbook for um, the next year and so on. You just have a workbook for each year. And you just all you have to do is roll the ending balance of the, of the last one to the beginning balance of the current one. Uh, as far as how it works, so this is the starting balance of each item. Then you can define how much of each item you're using per day for all 40 items. I just put in some random data here just so you can see how it works. So that's going to um, take away from the balance. Then you're going to put in arrival, so this is when inventory arrives to your location. And note, this is not purchase, this is arrival. So in this case, let's say I, I buy six here and here. So for item two, we start at four. We buy six, so that's four plus six is ten, but we used one. So our ending balance is correctly calculated as nine. Next day, we use another one, so we go down to 8, but we bought 6 more, so now we're at 14. 8 plus 6 is 14. Now, this goes through, just tracks for the whole period. Um, so enter, enter the current balance, so enter, right, did that. Enter daily usage of the items in usage tab. Did that and our arrivals. Um, now you can define when the inventory is going to change colors. So here I just have a, a um, trigger alert, and you could define how these work. In in this case, let's say I want to do things. Um, it has to be red. If it's less than five, I would go six here. So that means. Up to five, it's going to be red. So if the ending balance is five or less, turn red. If the ending balance is between six and 19, turn yellow. And if it's greater than 19, then turn green. And you can adjust these two here to change all those. Let's say I want it to be green at over, you know, a thousand. That's fine. Or, or sorry, over 999. Or um, up to you know six to a thousand is yellow then over a thousand is green less than five is red so here you can see how that that works and you can just change these two numbers here and it will tell you in text what you're actually doing and what will change based on the uh, logic uh, I'll just put this back to a hundred and ten and that's
that's fine for now. Uh, and then finally, we have inventory balance, so valuation. You could de define the value or the cost, average cost of each item, up to 41 items. Again, determine the cost. I just have arbitrary numbers in here. You determine your own cost for each item. And that will flow here and show you the beginning balance of inventory and then the ending balance at each day. It was the total ending balance of all inventory over time. Uh, now, if we go to... Uh, if you want to extend this, you can easily just go to Usage and you just highlight all the way down here in column AO and then just highlight and just drag it over. You need to go all the way down though to the last day and you can just drag it over as long as you want. Same with arrivals, you know, go to the end, column, highlight it, drag it over. You can do that with ending balance as well and then inventory value as well. Same idea, drag it down or pull down, drag over, and then you'd have to do it to the triggers as well if you want the conditional formatting to work. So it's very easy to extend for however many items you want. I just put 40 in here. We've got uh, you know, valuation, unit count, any balance, alert triggers. So it's a pretty cool tracker, and this is just better than trying to keep track of it on pen and paper. Um, this gives you a, a nice track record and you can easily manage inventory on a daily basis based on what's being used, what's going out, what's arriving in, and then here's your balances. And again, you could change these names, the item names, to whatever you want. These are just arbitrary uh, placeholders, and that will update. Alrighty, well, that's about all I got on this. Uh, don't forget to check out smarthelping.com for more. Uh, and I've got templates for all kinds of things, not just inventory. I do uh, startup financial models, cash flow waterfalls for joint venture, a lot of complex logic there, a lot of finance stuff, um, a lot of software as a service business models, and just a lot of industry specific models. Um, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Hopefully this is a great sheet that everyone can use. The link to, to buy it will be in the description box below. And um, yeah, I'll probably post it to some vendor sites as well. Take it easy.